So I'm just going to talk about how to make uh, new windows essentially. So I've just made a quick to Kinter window. So I'll just open it up here. You see, I've got this one window, no title, just TK. And let's assume that I wanted to start the program with, I don't know, another window here and another window here. So two more windows, for example, right? Well, you can actually create more than one uh, to Kinter window using something called top level. So I'll copy and paste this code and I'll make a new window within it. So all you need to do to make a new window, well, actually, I'm going to change the title of the original window. Okay. I'm just going to change the title to be um, main window. You'll see why in a minute. I'm going to make a new window. We'll just call it window 2 for simplicity. And we'll say it's equal to top level function. And this top level function essentially makes a new window that isn't the main TK window. And in this window, I'll attach a label to window 2. This should allow us to kind of distinguish. We'll say this is a label that will just pack it doesn't really matter about grid arguments I'm actually going to add a title to window 2 as well and we're going to say window 2 dot title we're going to call it window 2 very simple when you open it up you're actually going to see that there's two windows so you can see here this window is called main window this window is called window 2 right so this top level has allowed me to make more than one window. Now, a peculiarity of windows is if you close down these new windows that you've made, these top level windows, it doesn't close down uh, the main loop. But if you close the main window, it will shut down the main loop. I'll show you that again. This time I'll close the main window. Right. So we've got the main window here and we've got the uh, window 2 here. Right. If I close down the main window, this window 2 will disappear and you'll see that this is no longer red. It doesn't want me to stop because it will execute uh, the main, it will, sorry, destroy the main loop. You see that? But, as I showed you before, if I get rid of the top level windows, the new window I've made, nothing happens. Okay, so if you click one of these top level windows, don't worry, unless you've made some function that makes you leave the main loop, you won't leave the main loop. But if you accidentally click the main window, then yeah, you're, you're going to end up out of that loop. Okay, so just something to think about there when making top level windows. We can have more than one top level window, so I'll copy and paste this and just kind of show you what I mean by that and how easy it is to make a top level window. So we're going to say window free, not a very creative name, I know, but just a simple demonstration. It's equal to top level. Oops. That wasn't great. I'm going to say that window free dot title is going to be equal to window free, right? We're going to add a label to this lay this, this window. I'm going to say window free as well. We're going to add it to text is equal to window freeze label label not labels and we're going to run this and you'll see that we'll have three windows so you can have more than one window we've got this main window here it's just called main window we've got our window 2 that has a label that just says this is a label oh i didn't pack that so i'm just going to redo all that sorry Sorry about that. Let's close. We close the main window down and everything gets closed down. All right, let's pack that onto there. Now everything should be working as intended. So yeah, we got the main window here with no label in it. We got window two with the label that just says this is a label. And we got window three here. Are you it's hard to open the damn thing? There we are. With the window three label. So you can see that you can have as many of these top level uh windows as you wish so you can have multiple of them and i can close any of them 
and it won't close the main window nor the main loop but when I close main the main loop will end simple as right so you're probably thinking well that's cool and all but I just uh, I don't really want you know to have these kind of weird windows uh, popping up all at once I only want them to pop up when I uh, when I make something when I when, when I click a button or something like that right I don't want it to just be there so okay we'll do that we'll just make TK quickly window dot title shouldn't have bothered with this really and call it main window we're gonna add a button and obviously we're gonna add a function that will allow us to create a window Mian window no I'm not Chinese right so let's make our button let's say button is called button is attached to the main window yada 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 text equals make a new window right and we're gonna dot pack it because I don't care about the grid I'm not showing you those features um we'll make a command we'll just call it new window like that and we'll actually define that function so new window da, 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 da. and we're just going to create a window a, a new window at top level so we're going to just say that I don't know new window equals top level oops not new window new window doesn't really matter because the top level command is still and we're just going to give it a label we'll say label I don't know new window text equals we'll just make up some text and we'll just pack it into that window let's see what happens shall we might work as intended it might not let's open it up and see what happens so we've got this button that says it makes a new window okay cool so we've got our new window and we've got our label attached to our new window okay so we've got another new window and we've got oh dear it just keeps making windows it doesn't stop making windows so why does this happen you're probably wondering well every single time I click we make a new window with the variable assigned to the variable new window at a top level and we assign a label to that top level window this this new window the thing is once this function ends those variables are destroyed but the window remains right the variables just destroyed so each time this new window is a new variable each time so a new window is created and a new labels added to it each time okay and there's a few ways I could get rid of these windows I could just click off of them or I could just decide to end the entire main loop by killing the main window that's pretty much all there is to it there's probably some more uh, interesting some more complicated uh, ways to mess around with new windows that's all I show for now thank you for watching